Okay, and hello again, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this time, I have bought something from a store in Sweden that we called Technique Magazine. And um, normally, I usually don't buy stuff like this, but this time I really had to try it out. I mean, I'm waiting for a really, really big quad. And I guess it would take some time for that quad to get here. So um, to fill my channel out with at least a little unboxing of a, a little quad wouldn't be such a bad thing, I guess. So um, here we do have a little nano quad. That is called Speed Devil, Speed Devil X Blade Nano. Uh, this little quad do have uh, two rates. It's a beginner rate and uh, intermediate rate. It has also what I saw in the manual, a little headless mode. Uh, and well it's a really really small quad as you can see so uh, let's unpack unpack this one so let's see what's inside the package it's classic I think speed double actually is a little company that do uh, actually don't build their stuff themselves they actually is some sort of an OEM company it's like Denver or yeah and many else out there let's see here is the controller uh, the controller is driven by two triple a batteries and as you can see we have a little uh, let's see here if i can get here a little really really small nano quad that has uh, already one set of uh, props and you can see there is a little devil or something something like that it's actually, I think, um, you can get this quad with other brand names. Perhaps I think there is a Chason that almost look like this as well. But this one, it's a, it's a, yeah, speed double. Let's see what we can find else here. Oh, it's kind of tough to get inside here. And then I will look a little. Let's see here. Oh, God. Uh, we have some papers here, like always. Uh, I think this one. This one here is um, the information about the batteries, the LiPo batteries. That is a 3.7 ampere battery. No, sorry, sorry. That wasn't correct. It's a 3.7, let's see, where is it now? Uh, 3.7 80 milliamps LiPo battery, as you can see here. Uh, it follows a little charger, a USB charger here. And uh, there are a little set of four props that follows. So, um, I can tell you a little about the controller. Up here, we had the on off switch and a little light that tells that everything is on. And it kind of beeps if you do the throttle stick up and down. 
then it's connected to the quad. Uh, this is thread stick, of course, and this is um, in mode two, I think. This button here doesn't work at all. Uh, this is trims. And this is uh, aileron, left, right, forward, back. And I think if you press this one, one, two, three, you change the rates. And I think this one might get you into headless mode. No, sorry. If you press this three times, you get into headless mode. And I think if you press this one, you get into flips, because I think this one has 360 flips. So um, then it you press this and it starts to beep, and you you do like this, and it kind of flips in that direction. I shall uh, charge this, and then I should maybe take it for a little drive before I put it up. Onto YouTube. Okay, hello again, people. Uh, I forgot to show you the user manual. Uh, it's kind of easy to understand. Uh, it says that there should be a screwdriver in here, but it do not follow a screwdriver. But four blades, props, and a USB charging line do follow. And here is the explanation for how this controller works in mode 2 and there is some uh, good information in here on how to charge the quad it takes 30 minutes to charge the quad well and you see it's full of information even headless mode is here and how to flip and such things and here is the quad itself, as I told you before. I did do a little crash inside. So there is a little broken here. So I think I have to buy a new shell to this one. At least the, the below part. So that's a little pity. Uh, a good, good tip is to start onto a, a leveled place uh, a, a chair a, a table or the or the ground so let's see if it, we can fly this one the the charging port should be in the back and there it's on off here and you put this on and then like this now we should be activated I'm uh, flying it now. As you see, it's kind of stable. It really is stable. It has uh, a, a range about 20 meters, 20 25 meters. This is in a uh, in weight one. Let's see how it works in in way two. Yes, maybe I should show you how to um, how to calibrate if it's something wrong. You should land on the surface, let it wait for a, a second or so. Then you could do like this, left and right, and wait for the LEDs to flash. Now it should be calibrated. So uh, let's see to get it in. Now it's in ray two. A little, a little more tilt to it. You see that? And now we should get into headless mode if I do like this. You see here?
It seems to work kind of fun. And now we are back in normal mode again. Forward is forward and back is back and left is left and right is right. Let's see how the flip works. Ah, nice. Back flip. Left flip. And now we come and try to get it back here. There's a little wind here, I guess I have to get it in high rate. Maybe the battery is going, is almost up. Let's see if we can land it on onto the table here. I will land it on the ground. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that was a speed devil. Uh, speed devil. Let's see. Uh, speed devil blade X nano. So till next time. Bye.